like to demonstrate what basic decisions that is requested to be required for a dentist and the patient to so do a smooth and a acid free procedure. So I will explain this question on neutral portion. The neutral portion is one when you feel the most comfortable at the neutral portion is when you put your thigh parallel to the floor and sit down. And you can keep your thigh parallel to the floor, make sure your thigh is parallel to the floor. And you keep your back straight, resting back on the back of the dental stool. And keep your shoulders relaxed and elbow parallel to the floor. So you can see three lines the line that is running in the hip, the line that is running on the knee, and the line that connects the floor. All three are parallel to the so this is a new proportion, this is a proportion where you can work for quite a bit of time without having to stay when you do the process. Because dentists are much more for repetitive stain injury, this portion helps to reduce that. Coming to the patient position, always make sure that the patient head is below the elbow of your arm. So when you keep your arm back to the floor, you should make sure this patient's head is below the elbow level. So I would like to put it down to the This would be the way where the patient's head should be so that you can work without moving your shoulder up or staining your elbow or lifting your hand. This is the most comfortable portion to work for extended period of time because most of the end procedures require more than 40 minutes of attention to the body. Yeah. This is the position or arrangement of the instrument. Every instrument has to be placed in a horizontal direction because it, it makes it easier to pick the instrument without any stain on your wrist. If you could look closely, if I take an instrument, it would have kept vertically like this. I need to bend my wrist and take the instrument. So you can see the stain on the wrist. Suppose if I keep the instruments horizontally, it is very easy to pick up the instrument. So you will not have strain on your wrist. And this is a very important thing because this is a zone that is much more prone for stress and which leads to a common repetitive stain injury called carpal tunnel syndrome which most dentists are suffering with. So position the instrument horizontally and keep it below your arm level so that you can always pick it up easily. So as you can observe now the patient is below my elbow level. The patient head is below my elbow and this is the main position to position the patient head. This is called V1 position. Now I will tell you how to eliminate the old cavity. For the mandible, we can always keep the line at 90 degrees to the mandible. The line always it has to be at 90 degrees to the mandible. For the maxima, you keep it 90 degrees to the chest and you take it at the mandible. So it goes at an angle to the maxima. So this thing prevents any shadow when we are doing the dental procedures. So 90 degree mandible always gives a shadow free illumination. I will also talk about indirect illumination. Yeah. So uh, using once the light is at 90 degree to the mandible and if you put your mouth mirror inside and you can reflect for an extra illumination on the lingual side of maxilla, the mandible. So both the mouth mirror and the light helps to give you extra illumination where you can, which, which, you, which can improve your visual acuity. We saw the V1 position that is the position of the patient's head. Now we will see V2 and V3 position which is the position based on the quadrant which you want to work. This thing is an universal thing that stays good for restorative uh, extraction or periodontal procedure because these portions are universal. So the V2 portion is regarding the maxilla and mandible. So the V2 if you want to work on the mandible maxilla as the patient look up. Look up. So that the maxillary uh, occlusal plane becomes perpendicular to the floor of the mouth. So it is just perpendicular to the floor. So that is V2 position and same way for the mandible to work as the patient look down. So where you can visualize or see the mandibular teeth directly. You know? So next is depending on the quadrant that you want to work. Whether you want to work on the right side or the left side, the buccal or the lingual quadrant. That is called the V3 positions. So V3 position if you want to work on the maxillary buccal arch or the maxillary uh, uh, zone on the cheek side you ask the patient to the move to their left side so you can visualize this thing directly without anywhere where you want to bend down or want to look it out so you can work both maxilla and mandible by asking the patient to look to the left side and 
you want to work on the lingual side as a patient to move towards you so this is the very v3 position where you can see the maxilla in direct vision maxilla and mandible in direct vision without any change the next is the doctor's position the right handed dentist always has to use to walk Thank you. 